Back here in Korea, and a local court has jailed Che Sun Shil, a friend of ousted former President Park Geun Hye, and the woman at the heart of the massive corruption scandal that rocked the country. She is going to serve 20 years behind bars. Shin Dong Bin, who is the chairman of the country's fifth largest conglomerate, Lotte Group, was handed a two and a half year jail sentence for his role in the scandal. Lee Jung Yeon reports. The Seoul Central District Court ruled this afternoon that Che sun Shil will have to serve 20 years in prison, pay $17 million worth of fines, and forfeit almost $7 million more. The announcement came around 4.30, over two hours past the scheduled time. Che's sentence is five years shorter than what was demanded by state prosecutors, but it's the heaviest sentence among the people involved in the corruption scandal. Che is a longtime confidant of former President Park geun who was removed from office last year for corruption. She's accused of meddling in state affairs, even though she held no official post in the Park administration and was charged with 18 counts of corruption. The court also acknowledged as bribes the money she coerced businesses into paying to two nonprofit organizations she controlled. Che's sentencing not open to the public could provide hints about the sentencing of Park geun which is scheduled for late March. Also out today, a ruling on An jong -bom, the former senior presidential secretary for policy coordination under Park, who was involved in Che's influence peddling. He was sentenced to six years in prison, a little longer than was expected, with a fine of $92,000. In the case of Lotte chairman Shin dong -bin, he was charged with paying Che more than $6 million in bribes, plus donations by his company to our foundations. He was sentenced to two and a half years in prison and was taken into custody immediately in court. As for the former senior presidential secretary for civil affairs, Wu byung -woo, his sentencing, originally planned for Wednesday, has been postponed to next Thursday to allow more time for reviewing documents. He is charged with concealing the corruption scandal. Lee Jong-yeon, Arirang News.